wasn't the necessarily the earliest days of, of it, but it was it was some pretty early days, you know, back working on Quake 2, back when the company was just, you know, 10 people or so. Well, it started with it back in 91 and uh, working on uh, uh, Wolfenstein 3D. When I joined as an employee, effectively, that was towards the end of Quake 3. You know, there was three or four programmers kind of at best, so so we all did a lot. You'd, you'd ride up the elevators and get to the sixth floor, and there was a sign out front that said, id software, suite 666. It was what, what you would hope. Everybody loved what they did, pushing the envelope in almost, in almost every, in every way. <laughs> From a gameplay feel perspective, we reference Doom 1 and Doom 2. Wanted to be fast because that was a core element of Doom. You felt fast. You look at the sprites going brrrr and like the, the stuff, you know what I mean? And, and you're just like, like, have you seen the stuff that goes on in Doom? We would say that. You just play a game and I'm like, we could do anything. It was Doom, but something else. Robert Zemeckis see contact kind of the global impact of a hellish invasion. Very tough, I have to say, for me personally, very, very tough, tough time. A lot of money is spent when you make make something and then you decide to move away from it. So we have to do this. We have to do this and it has to be great. RASs were out there, but why not? I'd rather go down swinging for the fences than bunting. You can be really self-aware and, and, and make it work. Because you're expecting the game to be like, maybe it's an occult and it's a secret and no one knows. How about as soon as you walk in, it's playing on a fucking megaphone. Like, we need volunteers. For the Revenant program, we're going to turn people into demons. When you finally went into the box, you're already like, don't breathe on it. Like, it works. <laughs> don't even look at it.